Welcome back, folks, to Lost Media Request, a series in which you give me a lost media topic, and I talk about it. Special thanks to EWJ Fan for giving me this topic specifically. Star Fox is a series that was released in the late 90s by Nintendo and Argonaut Software for the Super Nintendo. Star Fox became a huge success, gaining multiple sequels and potentially a TV series, although it never saw the light of day. And that's what we'll be talking about. In early 2016, College Humor uploaded a video by the name of Fantastic Mr. Star Fox, a parody of the feature-length film Fantastic Mr. Fox, as well as Nintendo's brand, Star Fox. I'll show you the clip right now. Fox McCloud has spent years defending the Lilat system. Star Fox! Andross is invading Corneria! We need your help! But there's one villain he's never been able to defeat. I don't think you do. Himself. Star Fox! This fall, from visionary director Wes Anderson. I've been flying through silver rings for 18 years, and I never once stopped to ask why. And visionary Asian guy Shigeru Miyamoto. But Andrus killed your father. My father's been dead to me for years. Comes a movie that shows that sometimes, our biggest weak points aren't the ones that flash red. Fox, incoming missiles, dual barrel roll. Why? I can't barrel roll away from who I am. Maybe it's finally time to stop taking the easy route. Great, let's head to Sector Z. No, I meant in life. Starring George Clooney. I thought I blamed a giant space head for my father's death. But now I think I blame myself. I can't let you do that, Star Fox. Bill Murray. Fox, the Aperoids. They're turning everybody into machines. I feel like I've been a machine my entire life. Ah. Jason Schwartzman. Maybe I'm not the one. Who needed help after all. And Owen Wilson as Falco. Sometimes I feel like the whole universe is against me. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. A film that Rolling Stone raves was based on a video game. I think I'm finally ready to save Corneria. The fantastic Mr. Star Fox. Uh, General? It was a cute little short, and I definitely think it's pretty funny. Though, Nintendo took it to a whole new level, and actually reached out to College Humor and asked them if they'd be interested in making a full-fledged series with this art style in mind. College Humor obviously said yes, and they got to work on production of the series. Meanwhile, Netflix had greenlit a Legend of Zelda TV series alongside Nintendo. Unfortunately though, someone up at Netflix had purposefully leaked Legend of Zelda content to news publications, and word spread like wildfire. Nintendo got cold feet and freaked out promptly, and cancelled not just the Legend of Zelda project that they had greenlit with Netflix, but unfortunately called Humor's Fantastic Mr. Fox series. The reason why I'm talking about this in particular is that I actually knew about this, but I didn't really know, know everything about it. And honestly, I still don't know too much, as during the research of this video, as I was looking for more information about, quote unquote, Fantastic Mr. Star Fox, I couldn't find anything on it except for the YouTube video, the announcement of it, and its cancellation. That's about it. Speaking of which, the video that I showed you, that's not even from College Humor. Well, it was made by College Humor, but that was actually a re-upload by this individual. Sorry, I, I, can't, I forgot your name during the recording of this video, but shout outs to this person in particular. Go watch this video on your own time while you can, because without this person, this video would probably be Lost Media in and of itself, since College Humor doesn't have it on its website or on their YouTube channel, which is kind of strange. It kind of makes you think if Nintendo asked them to take it down. The reason why I bring this up in particular is because, well, this isn't technically lost media. I mean, kind of. It's more of the mystery behind it, as we don't really know anything about it other than it existed and then it died. As far as these publications know, it only went in through a month of production, so I don't think too much was done, but there was definitely stuff done regardless. There would have to be a pitch bible, you know, maybe assets, maybe new puppets were made, maybe the Star Fox cast was remodeled, who knows. But there has to be some form of substance from the show just lurking around, floating around somewhere. As far as I'm concerned, it's probably with some members of College Humor, and they still probably have it still with them, who knows. I could reach out and ask, but I'm really lazy and I don't want to. This probably means nothing to anybody, but it's a story that I feel like I can tell now. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember. In like 2014 or 15, there was all this news that Netflix was going to make a Legend of Zelda television show. Do people remember this? It was there, live action. Was, it was supposed to be, right? 
It's supposed to be a live action Legend of Zelda television show. And it caused a whole lot of coverage in the gaming press and everything. I'm obviously a big gaming person. I'm a big Nintendo fan. Um, this, was, this was really big news. At the same time, I worked at College Humor. And we had a secret project where we were going to make uh, a claymation version of Star Fox with Nintendo. I know this because Shigeru Miyamoto came to our office. And I remember that because I asked my boss if I could be in the office that day because it was the weekend because I wanted to just watch Shigeru Miyamoto walk by. And he told me no, and I'm still mad at him no, that no. I didn't get to meet Shigeru Miyamoto. Literally God. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, literally the man who created my childhood. So anyway, we were going to do this. It was like going to happen. We were going to make a uh, uh, sort of fantastic Mr. Fox style Star Fox. Then, like a month later, suddenly there were reports. Netflix isn't doing this Legend of Zelda anymore. They're not doing the Legend of Zelda. I was like, what happened? And then I heard from my boss, we're not doing the Star Fox anymore. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then I, so I went and asked him, I was like, what happened? He said, oh, someone at Netflix leaked the Legend of Zelda thing. They weren't supposed to talk about it. Nintendo freaked out because they, they, it was the first time they had done any IP in years. Uh, for like any product, they, any project, you know, they had no t television, no adaptations of any kind for years and years. But when Netflix leaked it, they freaked out and they pulled the plug on everything. They were like, they pulled the plug on the entire program to adapt these things. Uh, that's the literally the first thing that came to mind. I don't even know if that's no, interesting, that, but I've that, never no, talked about a That is interesting. That's fascinating. I'm, I'm also like, why, why didn't we ever get that claymation? That like, that sounds incredible. I know it would have been really great. Why didn't I ever meet Shigeru Miyamoto? So many missed opportunities. The reason why I talk about this and why I'm bringing this to Lost Media Request is because, I don't know, there's something interesting about this. I feel like if we researched this a little bit more and dug deeper, we could probably find more information about this and maybe genuinely get more footage of it if there is footage in existence. Who knows? I don't know anything. I could barely find anything on this. So as far as I'm concerned, this isn't really Lost Media more than it is canceled media. So with that said, Fantastic Mr. Star Fox, until we can find actual information on it, uh, it'll remain a mystery. And that sucks. Because it seems Nintendo, ever since this whole fiasco with The Legend of Zelda happened, they've been really stingy with their IPs. You want to know why the Illumination Super Mario Bros. film hasn't really existed at all we haven't seen any, like, screenshots or any leaks of it? This is why. Illumination's scared that if it gets leaked, Nintendo's gonna pull the plug on the project entirely, so they're doing everything that they can possible to make sure nothing, and I mean nothing, from this movie surfaces online. Well... Once again, special thanks to EWJFan for giving me this topic specifically. And again, if there's a case of lost media that you're particularly interested in and you want me to talk about it, then leave a comment down below. I'll see what I can do. With that said, guys, I'm Mr. Bones. This was Lost Media Request, and I hope you guys have a good night and take care.